All right, guys, here's a review of the brand new Steel BR450C EF. Electric start model. I'll cut right to the chase for the folks who want to see the electric start. It's right here. It's You pull down on it, push it in once. <laughs> Also start it with your typical pull start. So this is the 63cc two-stroke motor. It's not a four mix. Um, it's rated around 642 CFM, but I feel like it blows harder than that. Uh, very similar to the BR600, which I've used extensively. Um, it's great um, power-wise. It's got a lot of airflow as well. It's got a lot of um, you know miles per hour. So I also have an Echo PB770T. I would say mile per hour wise with the tube extended, the steel feels maybe even slightly faster. I don't think it's rated faster, but it feels faster. And the Echo, you can tell that the Echo does put out a little bit more air in terms of CFMs. This thing's got a couple of other cool features on it that I really like. Um, the adjustable tube length, which is just like a locking collar here. So you just loosen it up to extend the length of the tube. It's obviously infinitely variable based on how you want to, um, how long you want it to be. That's nice because you're working in a tight space or whatever. You don't have to pull a tube off or worry about bumping your back into something because the tube is too long. It also has the effect of at a short length, you get, you know, it's slower airspeed more CFM, long length, you get a little bit higher airspeed, not, not as much CFM, but you can adjust it on the fly. You don't have to take those uh, pipes off like you do on a regular one. Uh, this handle is also adjustable. So rather than, you know, the typical kind, you have to screw them and they've got, you know, a small length of pipe where they're adjustable. This one's just a simple, you know, it locks right in place which is great. It's got a nice handle. The cruise control is infinite. So it's not just like on the BR600 where it just, you know, it's only high speeds. You can infinite trigger like you do on an Echo or a, a Red Max. The things I don't really like about this, and I'll show you actually a change I made. The straps, kind of, you know, chintzy. They're not the nice type with the two mounting points like what the BR600 has. So they just kind of flat mount in there and they end up, this part's really on your shoulder there. The back pad is pretty lightly padded as well. And what I actually ended up doing was I bought the optional hip belt for the BR600, 500, 550 models. And as luck would have it, this was pre-drilled for it. So what I had to do is take the padding out of the lower original piece so that it wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have two sets of pads there and then bolt on the hip pad instead. So that serves as the lower back pad now and the upper back pad. This piece is really nice, especially on this blower again, cause it's heavier. Uh, you can definitely feel the difference between this and a 600 on your back, uh, particularly when you're picking it up to put it on. Once it's on there, without the uh, hip belt, I could feel it after about an hour, not, cripplingly so but I could tell I was holding something a little bit heavier this uh, makes a nice difference I don't know why all blowers don't come with these I think they're fantastic I'm gonna add them on my other machines um, another thing about it that's kind of annoying is so if you're using the blower and you're you know up and down with it like this to move a pile the springs for the anti-vibe they feel like they're not stiff enough for the weight of this um, 
power unit. So what ends up happening is when you're going up and down and you're shaking this a little bit, this bangs like this. And you can feel that on your back. It's not hurting anything when it's doing that, but you know, having that constantly bumping against your back when you're going up and down is mildly annoying. Um, otherwise, it's your pretty typical two-stroke blower affair. You know, vertical cylinder there. It's got a small muffler. I pulled the spark arrestor out of it because uh, they always just clog up on me and I'm working in generally residential properties where I'm not going to start a forest fire. Uh, the power pack... This, I think, is a gear mechanism in here. Well, I'm, I'm certain it is, actually, because I've taken it off to look at it. And the power pack for it, originally I thought, oh, it's got to be this unit, right? It's all the battery and everything in there. But the power pack actually sits way down in here. So, you know, you can see where it's a 7.4 volt or 11.1. I don't remember which one it was. Um, I think it's a lithium-ion battery. So they say that has to be replaced as a unit. Um, I'm guessing that means the power pack, not this entire assembly. This is just like a motor and some gear. And it almost seems like it winds up a motor that then brrr, spins it. It's not cranking over the flywheel itself. You can hear that mm, type noise, um, and you only have to press it once. You don't hold it to start it, like, you know, turning a key over or anything like that. Um, I like it. It's a good blower. Um... It's, again, I, I feel like it's a little bit underrated for power. Uh, I don't know whether they're trying not to compete with the 600 or or what, but um, I'm pleased with it. Uh, I intend to use this a lot this fall, uh, and I think even more so it'll be great for, you know, cleaning up after you're mowing lawns when you're, you know, on and off quickie type stuff where you can just hit it, start it right up and, and move on and then turn it off if you're walking to the neighbor's house or whatever to do the next lawn um, as opposed to having to drop it off your back all the time. So it's good. Um, I would recommend it. I do recommend, again, if you're going to buy it, I think you should get that hip belt and do that modification that I did. I, if anybody at Steel is watching this, I would recommend maybe putting the better straps on it like you have on the BR600. It's a $550 leaf blower. Uh, it doesn't, you know, need to have inferior equipment to the 600. Uh, so I'll go on the start one more time just to show folks. I know that's the big draw of this, so. Down once, push in. <laughs> So that's the steel BR450CEF for you.